I apologize for the poor lighting. We're in the garage. But I'm out here with this Golden Mate UPS. If you've been a long time subscriber to the channel, you've seen I've done one of their just lithium iron phosphate batteries for my amateur radio stuff and for solar. I've been doing longer and longer 3D prints and it would stink to lose like half a kilogram of filament because the power flickers and I didn't notice and you know when it resumes you get a line and so I have one of their UPS here let me show it to you and I've just got it running on the printer here or it's it's in line with the printer so we're supposed to have thunderstorms all day and I didn't really want to lose this print but let me tell you a bit about this thing real quick it's the Golden Mate UPS 800 watt battery backup now it's worth noting that this, this is not something you're gonna to wanna to use as like a power station. That's not what this is intended for. This is an uninterruptible power supply. You're gonna to wanna to use it as that. Uh, if mains power dies, it'll start beeping to let you know it's drawing from the battery. And other than that, these things are pretty standard. This one doesn't have a whole lot of features, but it does have four NEMA outlets. It's pretty quiet. The alarm on it's not too terribly loud. If you're in the same room, you're probably gonna hear it, but if you're a few rooms away, probably not. But yeah, since this is lithium iron phosphate, you should get 5,000 plus um, cycles out of it. Yeah, I like it. Like, I like it a lot. It's, it's pretty solid. So you might ask, like, what would you actually wanna use this thing for? Um, traditionally, a lot of people have used them for their computers. If you're working on a document or something and you don't want to lose your progress or you're playing a game that's offline and you know you don't want to lose your your progress so you can save and stuff people would use them on their computers you plug in your monitor your computer and stuff like that and then when the power goes out usually you know it's out for a couple seconds or something that'll catch it if it's out for a few minutes it gives you time to like save and shut down safely and everything you just all kinds of stuff like that uh, fish tank pump you know you don't want to kill your fish because you know the circulation and everything you put it on the ups Obviously keep it far enough away from the tank that splashing isn't an issue. Um, have it like covered by something, you know, like a table or whatever. Uh, other than that, yeah, just anything that you don't want to lose power. Um, not at this house, but at my last residence, when power would go out, if the router lost power, sometimes it would take 15 minutes for it to reconnect. When I had that on UPS, power would go out and I would stay connected. So there's all kinds of uses for these things and like, Again, I'm just using it out here with the 3D printer. This this is a pretty important print that I'm doing. This is for another video and it's gonna take a long time and I only have one spool of this filament. So I really need it to work because I can do this twice with the filament I have and I'm hoping it works the first try. Or if there's any errors, then I can get it on the second try. So I, I can't afford to lose power. And that thing is just simple. It's giving me the power I need. And then when this is done, I'll move this back inside and it'll probably go on one of my other printers, like my X1C. And that way I've always got uh, power going with that. Again, I apologize for the lighting. Like I need to get a several of these. I have, let's see, four printers that I use pretty much every day now. And I've got another one coming. So, <laughs> Yeah, I guess I'm gonna be buying four more of these. I'm sorry for like this informal video. Um, this is just something I thought might pertain to people that do 3D printing. Like it was something I didn't really think about because they have like the resume feature. But as I've been watching people in some of the Facebook groups, it's like, yeah, their power flickered for a second and then you get an ugly line or, you know, the print just fails even though a lot of them have resume on power loss. So I was just like, yeah, let me get one of these and we'll use it for the big, big stuff. But I'm pretty happy with it. So as money allows, I'll be getting more of them. Well, you will forgive the ghoulish lighting, power went out. Um, and I've got this print going out here. So <clears throat> I'm hoping power comes back on in time. I've got the print running off of this uh, Golden Mate UPS right now, but there's eight hours left on the print. Let me uh, adjust here a little. So we're drawing it down pretty quick. <clears throat> I'm going to have to go get one of my power stations and hook it up to the UPS um, because that's definitely not going to last eight hours. Uh, don't know if the UPS will either. It really stinks because this is like a 40 hour print. 
Uh, the UPS would have been nice if power fluctuated for a little bit, but we'll see if it lets me band-aid it long enough to a power station and if the power station can get me to completion. That would be great because I've, I think this is a 39 hour print and I've only got eight hours left. So that would be kind of, kind of crummy, but unfortunately it did keep it going when the power went out and that gives me a little bit of chance to um, think up another solution. So here we are on another attempt. Um, we had the remnants of that hurricane come up here and this thing worked wonderfully. The only problem is we were without power for 16 hours and I had to worry about running the refrigerator, the freezer. Um, I had to work, so I had to run the router and my computer and my monitors and stuff for work. So I couldn't come out here and switch this over to a power station. And even any of my power stations wouldn't have got this print completed um, because we were without power for 16 hours and this had like nine hours left. This thing worked wonderfully. I think I got 30 or 45 minutes and I kept hoping power would come back on and then it didn't. And I put my smallest power station on here. And then after an hour more of that, I was like, I gotta use this power station for something else. And I unfortunately had to lose that print. Um, as soon as power came back on, I started the print again, a second time and left this going. And uh, We haven't lost power or anything, but this thing really did work admirably. If your power is going to go out, you know, for 30 seconds or just like a second, or it's back on within a couple of minutes. The problem is we had 25,000 people, 26,000 people just from my provider that did not have uh, electricity for, you know, a day and a half. And we're very rural and there's only about 90 subscribers here in town. So we were pretty low on the totem pole for power restoration. But if you lived in the city, your power would probably come back on a lot quicker and this thing would have worked wonderfully. Or, you know, if there was a surge from a lightning strike nearby and it knocked you off for a few seconds, this thing would have saved my print 100%. Um, I'm so grateful to have this thing. I, I'm i gonna move it inside the house and use it on one of my other printers, like my X1C or something because the night before um, we lost the power, we did lose power for like 30 seconds. And again, flawlessly. But then later that evening, you know, we lost power and then it stayed off. But we do get like fluctuation spikes like that a lot. And I don't always use this printer. So I'm gonna move this to my X1C, I think, because I use it the most right now. And then it'll get me through those little hiccups. And I'm actually gonna buy some more of these. Um, I want one for my uh, monitor and my personal computer. I want it for my work monitor because we do get power flickers and when it happens, it moves everything back to the laptop screen screen, and then it's a hassle and I gotta drag it back over to the monitor and get everything set up right. Changes the dimensions of some of my screens. It's a pain in the butt. So with one of these, problem solved. But yeah, I really love this thing. And not only do I love this, but um, I used one of their 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries to power the refrigerator because I didn't have enough power stations. So I hooked that LifePo 4 from Golden Made Up to an inverter and then I ran the refrigerator on that. And that worked great for the 16-ish hours or whatever. Um, I didn't even have to worry about cycling the refrigerator every four hours. I just let it run continuously off that and that handled it like a champ. That's my favorite LifePo 4 I have too. It's got really solid handles. There's a video about it here on the channel somewhere. And, you know, it's just a great product. Uh, Golden Mate has me as a customer for quite a while now. Um, I'm definitely gonna pick up more of these, like I said. I, I might get like three or four more. I'd like to put one on the router too. And then, you know, my personal computer and then that monitor. So I need at least three more. Um, and yeah, like they're great. I might get the, they have a model right above this. And I might get one of those just to see what it's like, but definitely gonna buy some more. And I'll have links to this in the description and the sticky comment and stuff. But yeah.